Local news. This is Coin Local 6 News at 5. The Portland Police Bureau does, in fact, engage in a pattern and practice of an excessive use of force, specifically in its dealings with people who suffer from mental illness. Federal investigators come down on the Portland Police Bureau saying that officers turn too quickly to tasers and other shows of force. Welcome, everyone, to Coin Local 6 at 5. I'm Kelly Day. And I'm Jeff Gianola. And the city specifically asked for this investigation, and now they plan to make changes based on the findings. Among them, officers need more training, faster investigations, and a new oversight committee. Coin Local 6 reporter Lisa Balick talked to a local family today that's pretty closely linked to this investigation. So, Lisa, what was their reaction? Um, they say they are not surprised by what the Department of Justice found. I talked with James Chassie Sr. Now, his mentally ill son's death in police custody sparked a firestorm, and he may have actually lit this investigation. Someone has to make a complaint. That would be me. On September 17th, six years ago this Monday, Jim Chassie's son James was tackled and tasered by Portland police officers. The 47 year old with schizophrenia died in police custody after suffering more than a dozen broken ribs and a punctured lung. It's one of dozens of cases reviewed by the Department of Justice during their 14 month investigation that found a pattern or practice of excessive force in the Portland Police Department. The city settled with the Chassis family for more than a million dollars. The city has paid out about six million dollars in the last 20 years to settle lawsuits related to alleged police misconduct. Jim Chassie says he's not surprised by today's report. Why did they keep telling us these people were justified in and through the mental illness of my son and the kind of force they were using? How do you really distinguish before if that person is a, is a mental health issue? Joe Bean Keller is the father of Deontay Keller, a 20 year old Portland man fatally shot in the back by an officer during a traffic stop. The officer thought Deontay had a gun. Although Keller says mental health issues were not a factor for his son, the fact that he was African American was. And the Department of Justice report notes a tense relationship between PPB and the African American community. Bean wonders if all the findings from today will lead to change. And even when they make recommendations and things of this nature right here, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to make a big difference because it still has to be upon that individual to accept it. Now, both the city leaders as well as the head of the Portland Police Department say there is definitely change already underway and will continue to be dramatic change in these areas. Now, Mr. Chassie told me, though, he's not sure if this report, if it had come out years ago, would have made a difference in terms of what happened to his son. Reporting for you in downtown Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin Local 6. Lisa, interesting. Thank you. Now, Portland Mayor Sam Adams released a statement on the investigation's findings today saying, quote, Without defensiveness or finger pointing, we all need to absorb the seriousness of this critique and the urgent need for change. We all need to take our portion of the responsibility to improve the situation, and we will improve and we will begin to do it quickly. Stay with us for continuing coverage of the investigation and the changes that the Police Bureau is promising to make. We'll keep track and let you know about any new developments on air and online on coinlocal6.com and on Facebook and our Twitter pages as well.